is I want you to experiment with, um, not experiment, but open that left toe like we talked about. You can see how open those hips are. That's good. But we want to really feel like our arms are getting down back in front of the body. See how quick you spin those hips. Sometimes the hips are so fast, you don't get your arms back down, right? So. Yeah. You want to feel like your arms are coming down first and then. So I feel like coming in motion again. Yeah. Yep. You feel like, almost feel like your arms are going first before your hips. They're not going to really, but that's the feeling you want to have. The other thing is, eventually, as you get a little older and stronger, I'm going to be working on trying to keep this pelvic area. I don't want that the pelvis to move forward toward the ball. See, there's a little bit of movement toward the ball. That'll help you hit it on the heel. Watch your right knee. See the line of arrow I drew? I don't want that right knee shooting out. I want that right knee coming in. So it would do this. It's not doing this. Now, that's not something you're going to work on on the golf course. It's not something you take to a tournament, but it's something to practice at home. Like if you put something right, right here, like a stick or something, like a alignment rod, stick it in the ground about knee height, just put it about an inch in front of your knee and don't let it move forward. You'll see in the tour player, they don't let that knee go forward and they don't shoot the hips toward the target. I'll show you like let me find Ben on. So you watch here Ben on. He if we put a line right here, his hip his knee might go a little forward, but not much. Doesn't move, does it? Yeah, try to feel if you get your arms to swing past your body almost, you know what I mean? Yeah. 